things that you can do in a, in a merger, an acquisition, integration, where you're blending cultures. One deal that we did was a small family-run uh, business. And this, this was a, a, a business in Florida, so it wasn't a cross-border deal or anything. But their culture was very, again, very lackadaisical. We have Hawaiian Shirt Friday. Um, uh, we have a lot of family that were in the leadership roles there. Uh, and they really have a lot of accomplishments for a smaller organization compared to, again, the big, um, the big technology company coming in and buying them. And I, I went into the company when we were doing our kickoff, our integration kickoff, and I sensed that something like that worriness, like they, they just had this sense of worry about them. And I started asking questions like, what do you work, you know, what, what is it that you're holding on to that you're worried about with this integration? And they, they came back and said, we're worried we're gonna lose our Hawaiian shirt Fridays and our logo, we really love our logo. So those were two things that were just sitting in their minds, preventing them from moving forward on all of the other stuff that, you know, a lot of people are like, that's more important, like how are we gonna integrate all of this business? But until you dealt with that, it was hard for them to, to even start to think about those other things. So we really took a step to say, okay, this is what we're gonna commit to doing, this is how we're gonna resolve this. And once that got settled, they could start to move forward a little bit on the other things.